everybody. Craig Martin, going to second straight two old game there of the season. We'll open up for questions from the media. Craig, you're always going to um, uh, pitch in and do different things, but to, to score and then to do it back to back games with the two goals, it's almost like you've been rewarded for your all around play and, and playing 200 uh, feet every night. Uh, do you kind of feel that way that you're sort of getting rewarded for all that now? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, my line mates have been doing a really good job. We've been, uh, we battle. We, uh, we take a lot of D zone draws, and uh, it's definitely nice to get the offense going a bit here. How about Shorty tonight? I mean, have you seen him better? No, that was the best game I've ever seen him play. That was, uh, that was incredible. Uh, best game I've ever seen a goalie play, I think. Craig, you mentioned earlier in the week that you didn't want to let the title number one UMass get to the team you wanted to stick to playing Quinnipiac hockey. How well did you feel the team executed that? Uh, I think we were great the first period. We came out hard. We, uh, we took it to them, and then we laid off a bit in the second period. And then uh, we found a way to close out in the third, which is huge. That's what good teams do. They find a way to win, and uh, we're looking to ramp it up here for tomorrow and take it to them again. Craig, the bank was really roaring tonight. Does that give you flashbacks to your freshman year, the way you guys played tonight? Yeah, that was awesome. We just feed off the fans. Uh, I haven't seen it like that since freshman year, other than maybe the Yale games. But yeah, it's, it's unreal. Great atmosphere t tonight. I was, I was here on Tuesday, and in, in talking to Chase, he said, you know, guys were really angry at the end of last year, especially the veteran guys. And guys aren't, aren't, aren't used to that. Not obviously with him coming back for senior year when people thought maybe he wouldn't, but the buy-in for the freshmen has been so good. But how about you guys and kind of leading the way with them and making sure that the buy-in is good, but also playing with a bit of an edge because last year was so unlike any other year that you guys have been used to. Yeah, obviously after last year we were pretty upset, left a sour taste in our mouth, and uh, we kind of met as a upperclassmen, juniors and seniors, and just uh, said we got to restore the culture and get back to just grinding every day and uh, get the freshmen up to speed, and uh, they've done a good job, so it's uh, definitely paying off for us so far. Craig, uh, you just talked about how Andrew that was possibly the best goalie performance that you've ever seen, obviously. He's dealt with little like off the ice things this week with the earthquake in Alaska. How have you and other teams been able to support Andrew? Yeah, we obviously we're uh, very supportive of our team, but yeah, we just keep him going, keep a, keep his confidence up. Uh, they're obviously splitting right now, so uh, yeah, they just uh, they battle it out. They're both doing a great job, and yeah, it's been good so far. What do you think that says about Andrew's character to be able to, like you said, splitting time, not necessarily knowing if he's playing every game, but then stepping in and pitching a shutout. Yeah, he's a huge character guy. He, uh, he always shows up when we need him. He's great in practice every day. Uh, splitting's definitely got to be tough, but uh, yeah, he battles. He uh, he's an engineer major too, so that's uh, obviously tough. But he puts in the work at the rink. Craig, um, you know, your freshman year, your team was, you know, had that number one title a lot of the year, and it was the, the talk was kind of, you know, we have a target on our back. Uh, tonight, obviously, you guys on the other end of that. I'm assuming you, you you kind of went at them as if they had a target on their back, but. How important was it, or how big was it for you guys to knock off not just UMass, but the number one team in the country? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge for our confidence. Uh, we haven't beat any super high-ranked teams, so obviously that's nice. It'll help us out in pairwise. But uh, I didn't think we looked at them as the number one team coming in. We were just uh, excited, excited for the opportunity to uh, bring it. And then, yeah. Craig, they were at 32% on the power play coming to this game, and I'm sure you guys are aware of that. But, but the discipline of this team, when you guys are playing as well as you do, I mean, those are little things, but how key was that, and, and how much of a point of emphasis was staying on the penalty box? Yeah, it was one of our three keys for tonight. Uh, the power play is really good. Uh, Makar is insane up there. And uh, we've been taking ozone penalties a bit this year, which have uh, kind of hurt us. But uh, yeah, we were good tonight. Everyone was disciplined, and just uh, we kept our feet moving and didn't take any lazy penalties. And it's uh, always nice not having to kill those ones off. And you know the rest of the teams in the ECAC are going to give you a big thank you for, you know. And there's the ECAC and Hockey East, and obviously those guys get a lot of credit for being a great conference. But is there a little bit of that? Will guys say anything to each other on different teams when you're kind of representing the conference in a game like this? Uh, sometimes. It's not a, not a huge key of emphasis. But, uh, yeah, they play a different style than us. Some say that they're more skilled. But uh, I think, what, are we 6-0 this year against or whatever against hockey, so uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job right now. One more question for Craig? Why not? All right. Thanks, Craig. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. thanks.